Hey, friends. Call here and happy Monday. I hope this finds you well wherever you are in the world. Um, I'm so excited because I finally have some projects from October's Bargain Bee Box. Um, October was really, really busy for me. I had vacations. I had other obligations. So last night, I finally got to sit down with my October Bargain Bee Box because, you know, November's only on the way, right? <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so I have two really cute earring projects to bring you guys, so I'm super excited about that. Um, like today is Monday, like I said, so I hope uh, the beginning of your week is going really, really well. Um, today's little inspiration card says, new Monday, new week, new goal. Hallelujah, absolutely. I'm here for that all day long. So, <laughs> new goals, yes. I'm always available for, available for new goals. Um, okay, so let's look at today's projects. First, we are going to make a super, super cute pair. Well, I think they're super cute anyway, but I might be biased. Super cute pair of lovely long, if you guys are into the long earrings like I am, um, this is a lovely pair of jangly goodness. And also, for your viewing pleasure today, <laughs> I made a pair of earrings, um, actually, and I couldn't help myself because I made a pair for Christmas as well, but I also made these little special guys. I thought these would be beautiful for the fall. Um, I will show you both of these, but also I did make those in a Christmas color, color way because I just, like I said, just could not help myself. <laughs> um, so you can make these for fall or you can make them for Christmas or whatever you want to make them for, but I think they're super cute. So yeah, guys, I had to stop myself cause I was actually going to, I was just having so much fun making these earrings that. I was just going to make a couple more, but I said, no, you must stop because there's other earrings to be made. And there is. So let's get started with this one. <clears throat> okay, these uh, are long leafy drops. So for these, let me get our ingredients. Yeah, I just thought these were just so elegant and so pretty and a really great way to use up these smaller beads because they are small and sometimes when you put them with the bigger beads they tend to get like they disappear they get a little eaten up right so here we have them in just they're they're like the sh the, the star of the show right they're like getting noticed they are not falling behind slipping in the cracks nothing like that they're doing great all right so for today's project let me make sure i have all the proper materials because sometimes I don't. Y'all know your girl prepares stuff. Guys, also, I'm super excited. I was going to say, your girl prepares stuff at night. It is daytime beating. What? I know, I know. I never do day daytime beating. But I was up early this morning because, again, I'm trying to start new goals for myself. And one of them is not sleeping until noon. But anywho, I thought this was a great time because all the cats are asleep. And none of them are asleep in this room. So fantastic. All right. So for this, you are going to need two uh, five miller millimeters, five millimeter jump rings. You're going to need two of those. See, y'all, I only have one. Wait. Oh, that's right, because we're making two earrings. Never mind. Never mind. And I was thinking about posting this in the Bargain Bee Box group, but I'm not sure I might lose viewers. Anyway, so you're going to need, this is for the pair, my friends. So you're going to need two of those. You're going to need two ear wires. You are going to need two eye pins. You are going to need 12 head pins. Um, these are ball head pins. You guys can use whatever kind you want. Um, I love those. You're going to need six of these leafy connectors and doo -doo -doo -doo, 16 of these beautiful, gorgeous agate rounds. So tool wise, let's see what kind of tools are we going to need. Of course, we're going to need some cutters. Cutters are always a good, good, good thing. We are going to need some round nose pliers. We are also going to, I don't think I need the wire straightener, but every so often, you know, you get some of these osteoporosis head pins and you just gotta, you know, just straighten them out a little bit. And that's fine. No shade, no shade on that. Uh, you're also going to need some uh, variety, whatever you do, of chain nose pliers, just for the opening and the closing and all the good things. So those are what you are going to need for this project. So a little bit tool heavy, but it's no crazy tools, right? It's tools that we're all used to. Anyway, does it look like there's a sh Look, there's a shadow. I don't do beading during the day, so this shadow's got me uh, shook. Hold on one second. 
Okay, my friends, I have cooked that shadow. I am so sorry I didn't realize that sooner. I hope I didn't. I hope a bunch of you didn't bounce because you were like, I cannot deal with the shadow. Um, I probably would have been worth dealing with the shadow. I'm just kidding. But the shadow is gone. So let's move on. Okay. <clears throat> so to start this project, I kind of, I already did a couple of those. So we're going to make, at the bottom here, we have five little dangles. So what I like to do with these kind of projects is I like to start the smaller components first. So I'm going to wrap some of these. I'm going to pick out a couple cuties. I already have two wrapped for us. And I'm trying to get uh, I'm trying to get a spectrum of all the colors in there. So we've already got some light ones. So let's pick out some more orangey ones. Miss, Miss, we have company. Thank you. And uh, yeah, so let's pick out one more. This little yellow one will do. Or do we want a more orangey one? Mm. Okay, I know I'm a little particular. Hold on while I shoosh my dog. Sorry, she's so rude. Anyway, so let's get started. And hopefully I don't have to shush the camera anymore. All right, I don't know. People don't know how to behave here during the day. So, like I'm saying, a little bit crooky. That's all right. So, a great way to uncrooky these pins is just grab it here with your little teethy pliers. Just take your straightener. And now she's, it's a miracle. She's cured. She's got, oh, oh, hold on. She's got a nice straight back now. She's ready to go. Let's do that with this one, too, while we're here. Because we are going to be making three of these together. So let's make sure all of our pins are on a good calcium enriched diet so they're not bendy. Okay, that's enough. All right. So here we go. So we're going to take one of these pins and we are going to put one of these gorgeous. Oh my goodness. They're so juicy. And like, I don't know if you can see, like that is a juicy little bead. Sure is. All right, so we're going to be making wrapped loops, so I would like to take my pliers here. Let me just move you over, just a scotian, a scotian, okay, because uh, I felt like we weren't centered. Okay, we're just going to take our pliers. We're going to put, oh, <laughs> there you are. Hello. Anyway, we're going to put our pliers in here. We're going to take this wire. We're going to bend that wire over the pliers, and what we're doing is we're creating this little space in here so then we can make some wraps. So we're going to put our, uh, and it, it, it kind of, it's important to kind of keep it on the same, like, part of the mandrel so your loops are even. But here's the thing. This is an organic design, so it's super beginner friendly. So, guys, don't stress out about making your loops. Oh, my God, my loops have to be exactly uh, three millimeters and zero whatevers. It's okay. This is an organic design. And even if it wasn't an organic design, do you, boo? If you, if you want to make it all willy-nilly organic, Awesome. Completely up to you. You are the artist of your masterpiece. So we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to finger wrap this. I'm also going to center that a little bit. This is thin wire. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to throw some wraps in here with my fingers. <laughs> I usually do this really well, but of course, because we're filming. Okay. Then we're going to take it off the tool. So you should have something like that. And we're going to clippity dippity. Guys, if you, if you all are newer to me and this is the first time you're watching me, um, one, I would love if you would subscribe and we could become friends. And two, I am a little different. Uh, I don't know if I'm for everybody, but that's okay because this world is such a... And of course, I got the wrong cutters. I got the ones that don't cut as well. I should have my new ones over here, but... <clears throat> The world is a, a diverse place, right? And there is a spot and a place for all of us in it. You know what I'm saying? For all of us. So whether you're here or you're not here, there's still a place for you. And, you know, and there's a place for all of us. And I hope that you're, one of your places is here with me. I would love that. That would be amazing if we could hang out more. All right. I'm going to stop soliciting for myself. <laughs> Let's do another one together. Hopefully this one goes a little bit, but my hands are shaky all of a sudden, and I don't know why. It's not like this is my first video. Maybe the thought of sharing it into the Bargain Bee Box group has me uh, flustered, because I'm crazy that, like, I don't, I don't, like, uh, it's weird for me to share myself. Like, I'm so used to sharing other people, uh, you know what I mean? Because if you guys know, I used to, I still do a lot of behind the scenes stuff with certain uh, artists and, and whatnot, and, and, you know, you would think that that I would be okay by now, but here we are. <laughs> and 
Anyway, <laughs> here we are, super nervous. Look, my hands are ser like maybe they didn't look like they're shaking. I feel like they're shaking. Right. So let's go ahead and finger wrap this dude. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. Um, yeah. Oh, and I'm really excited. Tomorrow, Joni's coming over. Um, if you guys know my Joni, Joan Dice, Dice baby. And uh, we're actually, uh, we're in the works with, I'm really, I'm shaking. I don't know. Maybe it's my glucose. I don't have breakfast today. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's my sugar. I didn't take my medicine either. Oh my goodness. That could be a whole array of things. Look how pretty that one is. So anyway, my Joni's coming over tomorrow and we are going to maybe possibly... We have some things in the works. We're going to maybe possibly do a try to do a live tomorrow. Um, I'm not sure where that live will take place. It might take place uh, just on our regular Facebook channel. It might take place, you know, on my jewelry channel. I don't think Joni has a jewelry channel, but she should because she makes amazing jewelries. Um, and it might even take place in the Silver Silk Silkies group on Facebook. Who knows? Who knows? But you never know where you're going to find Joni and I, but it might, it's a good chance it might be over there. Uh, stay tuned. I'm really not sure where we're going to go live, but um, that was just a little spoiler for things to come. All right. So let's go ahead and we are wrapping, wrapping, wrapping. There we go. You can use your tools, my friends. Be feel free. Feel free to use your tools. You do not have to Herculean He-Man like I do. You don't. Uh, there's no shame in using tools. That's what we have them for. But this is just really thin wire. And so I kind of find it therapeutic sometimes to wrap with my fingers. And I feel like I feel like I get a little bit that loops a little crazy. But I feel like I get uh, where is your butt? Oh, I feel like I get better wraps sometimes when I wrap with my fingers versus my tools. All right. So we have all those little guys done. Perfect. So now we're going to start our assembling our project. If I can stop shaking. Oh, maybe it, I'm, I don't know. Maybe I go, need to go have a protein shake or something. I'm not sure. So what I did here was I like to arrange these leaves so they kind of mirror each other. Are we in? Okay, we are in focus. So this little guy is going in. So I want this side because I want them to kind of mirror each other and so this one is facing out so then the next one we want so yeah so wait which way are we going okay right so then we're doing opposites that's what we're doing we're doing opposites so where this loop faces this way our next loop is going to face this way um I just think it's kind of a fun little a fun little thing to do the opposites so that's how we're going to lay it out now we're going to start connecting with our eye pins oh you know what yeah you need did I say you needed four of these I did okay oh it was two of the jump rings that's right all right back to beating with ADHD here we go all right, so we're gonna connect, so we need one of our pliers. So we're just gonna use this little plier. I'm just gonna open this up, guys. You always wanna swing this open like that. You never wanna pull it apart because then your loop becomes in some weird egg shape, I don't know. So we're gonna go ahead and just hook that in there. Closing that, always making sure these are closed. I kinda like to close that here and then I just tap down a little bit on my pliers okay then we're gonna put one of these beads on I think this one's really pretty I grabbed a couple extra just to give myself a little bit of a palette uh, you know um, and now we're gonna just make a simple loop so we just did wrap loop so guys if you're a beginner this is a great project because you're getting all your loops in um, what I like to do is see how that's the cut side I like to go opposite of the cut side so this way the cut sides are kind of in a figure eight pa pattern fashion whatever and I feel like that helps add integrity to your loops I think if the cut sides are on the same side I think it's a little uneven and unbalanced. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put our pliers right up against that bead. Um, if your wires, if your if your pins are uh, soft enough, you can just bend it over with your finger. But I am going to use my tool here because these are a little bit of a stiffer eye pin. So you're basically just going to put my wrist down. Ooh. <laughs> that is not for this project. That's for the next one. I'm just going to put my wrist down so you can kind of see the motions. So I like to... Bend down and then chomp, 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 chomp. Kind of like taking your, your pliers along your pin. And that's going to create a bend at right at that bead. 
So there's no, there's no room in there for wraps. So we're going to go ahead and cut. I like to cut about a quarter of an inch, which I will sometimes measure with my finger. That's about good. Eh, it's a little generous, but we'll go with it. A little bit shorter, but that's about, that's about right. So making, uh, we're putting our pliers, our round nose pliers right in up against there. You don't want that wire to go past. You don't want it to look like that because then it will make your loop not round. Okay. So what I, I just put my finger there and make sure it's not sticking out. I'll do a little bend up and then I'll come back, come back with this. And this is just the way I do it. It's just easier for me. And then I'll continue this motion, little motions wrapping that up. And then I'll come here and I'll break that neck. And then I like to come in here with my pliers and I like to kind of fix it. There we go. Ooh, woo, that's not a good loop. Oh my goodness, <laughs> look at that loop. What is that? <laughs> that's like a whole P. All right, that's fine, my friends. That's fine. So what we're gonna do is we're actually because the loop was a little, it was a little too much wire for me. So I'm just gonna go in here and remove a little piece of this wire, just carefully, not to remove too much. And this is a great way to show you kind of how to fix this. So I'm gonna roll back a little bit, and then I'm gonna bring my pliers back in, and I'm gonna just try to re-roll that. And see, that's much better. So I'm going to come in. I'm going to take my pliers. And you can do this with your round nose pliers or with these pliers right here at the base. And I'm just going to ever so gently do that. And what that does is it breaks the neck and it allows me to come in here. And that is a much, much better loop. I really, I save that one. <laughs> I really save that one from the brink. Okay. Enough of my heroics. Enough of my heroics. So you want to make sure you, I just put it down because I forgot where we were. Uh, so you definitely want to, this is going to sound redundant, but you definitely want to make sure that that loop is closed before we open it back up again. <laughs> but you do want to make sure that is nice and closed. So this way, when we open it, like we did, we're just swinging that up. We're ready to connect our next piece. Okay. And then we're just swinging that right back down and it should meet right up with the connection and it does right. I'm making sure my leaves are going in the right ways uh, and I think they are not I think I connected that one yeah that's okay that's why I hate sometimes when I pick stuff up I lose my place so I just I'm just gonna just switch this around I know it's really retentive but I like I want these earrings to go in a certain direction so we're gonna switch this here and we're just going to turn it over, right? And that'll fix that, right? Yes, okay. A better way to check is just to make sure that your loops are going opposite. So that's really what I should have done. But I'm sure, but I like to make mistakes so then I can show you guys. Hey, listen. All right, so we're going to connect our next eye pin. Swinging that up. Connecting that onto here. Closing that back down. I like to tap tap with my pliers, make sure that's nice and close. Sometimes you can even take it here at the base and just a little bit up, just so you know that's closed. Again, you know, I do things. So let me see. So we have some orange, orange, orange. So I kind of want to throw this one in here because it's got like a little orange and a little white. And I think that's really pretty. Okay. So again, this is our cut side. So we're going to go opposite of that. Putting our pliers right up against that bead. Okay. Chomp, 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 chomp. I know that's a little immature to make the chomp sounds, but it kind of makes me happy. Okay. I'm going to see that's a little bit of a, that's going to be a little bit of a nicer loop because it's, it's a, almost the amount of wire that I want. Okay. It's like, you know, and this loop has gone a little sideways and that's okay. That's what our tools are for. We're going to come in and I don't even really have to break the neck. That was actually pretty good. A lot smaller than our last loop, but that one came out pretty good. Okay. <clears throat> so once again, it is closed. So we're going to open it up. Okay. That might be a little small. I probably made it a little bigger, but okay. So now let's pay attention. So the loop is on this side. So then we want... 
This connection, yes. So we want the loop on the opposite side. And I might not have that open enough. It's a little bit smaller of a loop than I had wanted, but that's okay. We're going to make it work. We're going to make it work. All right. Oh, and you know what? Softlex is having a uh, their joyful beating. And I think today is make something like, see, that's a really small loop. <laughs> a little too small there. It's going to work, my friends. I promise you. But it's a little smaller than I would like. Okay. But it, I think their 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 prompt today is uh, pumpkin spice. Okay. Oh, is that? I did it again. Look, that's okay. We're just going to, I can fix it afterwards. Uh, I'm a little retentive that way. But now we get to this. That was the hardest part. That was the hardest part of this whole project was getting these leaves to go right. And I failed that mission. Or did I? Yeah, I did. That's okay. Shh, don't tell nobody. If you don't tell anybody, I won't tell anybody. All right, so we're going to take our jump ring and we're going to open this up again, side to side, never apart. It's just, so yeah. Uh, and also guys, these jump rings were in the box too. They, I thought they were really cool to include findings. I love when they include findings, so I think it's really helpful. Um, but yeah, so I think their prompt is design something with pumpkin spice. This is kind of pumpkin spicy. Um, so now we're just going to go ahead and we're going to put our drops on and I'm going to kind of do it like it, trying to keep a light one, stagger them out, put a dark one next to a light one. I don't know. Make it like purposefully random. <laughs> Isn't that what we do here? It's random on purpose. All right. So now we put all our little dew drops on there and we're just going to close. Okay. Just side to side like we opened it. And then I like to do this. Make sure that seam is nice and shut. And then for good measure, I will take my pliers and I will come in here where that seam is. I will just do a little boop, boop, tap. And that seam is nice and closed. All right. So there we have our drop portion. And now we just have to put on our ear wire, which is easy. We're just going to go ahead and open up our ear wire. Oh, you know what I did forget? I did put a little drop up here at the top. That's why I had this extra pin. We're not finished, folks. We have to make one more drop. But this is just going to be a simple loop drop. And we're going to grab this guy. Or should we do the darker orange? Let's do the darker orange as a little contrast. I think that'll look fine. I don't know. That one's kind of light. All right. These are big decisions, my friends. These are the hard decisions that sometimes we have to make. All right. So we're just going to make a, a simple loop here. So we're just going to take our pliers. Again, if you're, you know, you can bend this over the bead, but if it was more beads, I would do that because this bead is really little. I'm going to use my tools. Okay. Just going to chomp, 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 bend it, bend it. Come in here and cut. Okay. And then we're going to roll. Oh, that's a little bit of a long. That's a little. Let's cut this just a little scotions. A scotion of an ocean. And then we're going to roll that beautiful bean footage. There she goes. Just going to roll it like we did. Okay. Oh, sorry. That was a little extra wire in there, but I think it'll be fine. I think we can make this work. There we go. I'm just going to break that off a little more. There we go. It doesn't have to be perfect. It does not. I promise you it does not. Okay. So we're going to take our ear wire that we opened and we're going to slide this guy on first because he's going to be in the front of the earring, right? And then we're just going to slide our earring on, keeping that all together. And then we're just going to close this like we opened it and make sure if you have to jimmy it on over, then jimmy it on over. But we want to make sure that that is closed. So there we go. There are our super fun, super fun dangly long earrings. Guys, if you like that dingle, dingle, dangle, there it is. And they shake a little bit. They don't really make noise, but not really, but it's cute. All right. So let's move these guys to the side and bring out our beads for this one. All right. And let me bring out my project card. All right. So for this cutie patoots. Oh, I love those. Um, you are going to need 
40 seed beads. Now, these are 8-0 seed beads. Um, if you're going to use a smaller seed bead, which you can, or a bigger seed bead, you might want to, um, your, your count's going to be a little different. But um, this is, I'm using size 8 so you're going to need 40 of those. You're going to need uh, 12 of these English cut crystals. Uh, you're going to need two pine cone charms. You're going to need two of these large jump rings. Guys, like I said in the earlier project, um, we had a bag of mixed jump rings, and these really big jump rings are great for this project. Um, you're going to need four wire guardians. I know that's going to sound strange because I never use them, but in this project, they're definitely... Uh, I should have another one somewhere, and I don't see one. You're going to need four crimp tubes. I'm using the uh, two by two size two beetle on size two crimp tubes. Yeah, you're gonna need two ear wires and you're gonna need two eye pens. All right, um, let me grab another wire guardian real quick. All right, my friends, uh, I now have all of the wire guardians necessary. And you will also need some bead stringing wire. I am using this 19 strand, it is the 0 .018. Um, I am going to be using this with my magical crimping pliers, um, I do for, for best use with these pliers. It should be the the Softlex, the point zero one nine works really well, works the best with these and those, and their crimp tubes. Um, but I find that the nineteen strand, uh, the the point zero one eight, as long as you're using the um, beetle on size two crimp tubes, I find that th this this will work fine with that. You just have to be. The crimp, the crimp tube is a slightly, slightly a little bit of a, I don't know if it's bigger or smaller, which is which, but, but it does work. You just have to make sure it's in, inside those little holes perfectly. Okay. Uh, or you can use your standard crimping pliers. Guys, it's up to you. Whatever your comfort level is. This is kind of my situation. This is what I like to do. But, you know, again, it's your project. You do what you want. You can use wire. You can do, uh, you can use a 22 gauge wire to do this or, or whatever. You don't have to use bead string and wire. It can be achieved different ways. Um, yeah, so those, I think that's everything for crimp tubes. Yeah, we got all that. Okay, good. Let's get started. All right, so to get started, we are going to cut about, um, about a six inch piece of this. You probably will not need that much. I did bring my ruler. Um, I was somewhat prepared. Uh, you probably really like need a five inch piece of this, um, but I like to have a little extra. So I tend to cut my wire a little bit longer than necessary. Well, that would be really long, won't it? Let me just back you up a little bit, my friend. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, you got it. Ambun rambunctious. Ambunctious. That's a new word. I meant to say anxious and rambunctious at the same time. And anxious. That's what you got. Anxious. I never knew it was this difficult to cut bead stringing wire. I'm like all over the place today. Nerves. Okay. Wow. That was an effort. Okay. So first, and, and I'm going to tell you, so with the crimp tubes, I mean with the wire guardians, and I don't know why I, grab, I did them in copper and not antique gold, but, or bronze, but, um, they are, that you are going to get some, uh, uh, rubbing here some abrasion so they're good for that but they're also good for keeping your loops kind of the same size with t without guessing oh probably because i had the bright copper tubes so you're going to put one of your tubes on and you'll see what i mean in a second um you're going to put one of those tubes on and then you're going to slide one of these wire guardians on it's just this basic little u shape that has two holes and you're going to put one strand through this hole you're going to wrap it around and you're going to bring uh, this, you're going to bring it to this side and put it in that hole. So you have, looks, looks like so. I'm going to just slide that down a little bit. Now you're going to put, slide your crimp tube up. And this will be the easier side to crimp because you don't have any beads on your, uh, on your wire yet. So you're going to go ahead. And this is the part where you have to be careful because it is really easy to crimp these little ends and then you have a whole sharp metal situation. And I did that actually on the last earring, so I had to take these apart uh, more than once because that happened to me a couple of times actually because I was not being diligent. Okay, so we're going to take our pliers and these have a nice little round notch in here because basically that's what these do. These turn crimps into little balls. 
So you're going to put your you're going to put your tube right in that where that little ball shape is and you're going to squeeze. And now what we should have is a square shape and we do have our little square. And then we're going to take these to the side and we're going to put that make sure that's in there nice and where it's supposed to be and we're going to crimp again. And then we're just going to keep, we're going to take it out if you want and just put it in different places and just crimp down. So basically you're forming a ball. Okay. So then you have something like that. It's a perfect little ball. Okay. Let's give it a little test. And that is secure. Guys, like I said, you can use these with the beetle on wire and the beetle on crimps, but I would, I would do the wire and the crimps. You know what I mean? Like the, the set, the, the set how it comes. That's like the, the, the crimps for Belon and the wire for Belon. Same thing with the soft flex. If you're going to use soft flex crimps, then I suggest soft flex wire. Um, they're friends for a reason. Okay. They're friends for a reason. All right. So we just cut that excess there and that is nice and secure. And now we're going to start loading our beads on. So what I did was a little pattern here of three Look, I got my little bead scoop. So if I wanted to put them all on my table, I could. Because this is like whoosh, in there. Anyway, so we're going to do three, uh, three seed beads. Let me just cut this little, that little tip is bothering me. Let's cut him off. Okay. All right. I was feeling like it was just not going to be able to let me scoop properly. All right. So we're going to do three seed beads. So that's one, two, three. Right, then we're going to do a crystal. And when I do this, I like to do my focal bead, which are these crystals. I like to do them in an odd amount. So this way, your crystal's kind of here at the bottom. Okay, so we're going to do three more seed beads. So one, two, three. I love working with these 8 O's. They're probably my favorite. 8 O's and 11 O's. And I'm not a seed beater. Um, I'm learn. I'm going to start learning, hopefully. Oh, I got two at that. Did you see? Two at one time. I'm a pro now. Uh, but I'm learning. I'm learning. But for now, I do use seed beads as accent beads uh, in a lot of my designs. I love seed beads. Um, you don't have to be a seed beater, a bead weaver, uh, to appreciate a good seed bead. All right. So this is going to be our focal, or not our focal, but our center bead. So now we're going up this, the next side. I was trying to pick up two again. I was trying to be greedy and show y'all that it wasn't a fluke, that I'm, I'm really that good. I really am. But anyway, let's go ahead and put this one on. Maybe. We're going to pick up another, another three. We're going to pick up another three friends to the party. All right. And then we're going to put on this last guy. He is the chauffeur. And he says, just for good measure, let's pick up three more friends. So that's what we're going to do. One, two. Oh, that one's a little skinny. Not, no offense to the skinny uh, beads out there, but that one was a little too skinny. Sometimes they be like that. Okay, so this is what you have. Now, guys, you can do different patterns. You can do, you know, however you want to stage that out. But I find that this is this is a good length if you just want your, uh, it doesn't touch, but it comes closer to the bottom. You can also not do those beads too, if you want. That's whatever you want to do. Um, so we're at the end, so we're going to go ahead and put our crimp tube on. And then we're going to slide on another wire guardian. Okay. Now, this is a little bit, you know what, I probably wouldn't go five inches, because five inches might make this too small. Unless you're an adventurous crimper, I would probably just, I would do at least six. So you want to take this tail, and what I like to do is I will put that, of course, through the crimp bead, but I also like to kind of put that through at least one other bead if I can. So this way I can use that as my tail, I can pull it down, and also I won't have my fingers bunched up here at this crimp. So I'm going to take this, hold this here, hold this here, and I'm just going to pull. And that's going to bring all of my work together. Now I'm going to do this. So you don't want it super stiff, guys, because it is going to be in a bending fashion. And if you make this too stiff, you might crack a bead. So we're going to make sure that that's not too stiff. And it's not. It's got good movement. So I'm going to hold the tail with this thumb. And I'm going to straighten this out as much as I can. Okay. 
You want to give yourself a little bit of room here because you don't want to crack a seed bead and you don't want to crimp the metal on your wire guardian. It's never good. So making sure that that is not in your pliers. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to go ahead and lock that in. And then this is going to be a little more challenging. So just give yourself some patience with this one. Let's see, is it crimped in there already? It is, so I can't move it. That's okay. Got a little close to these seed beads. So I'm just going to stick my finger in here and try to separate them out. Oh, don't crimp the metal. <laughs> this part is a little more tricky. There we go. There we go. Just forming that ball. Just being very careful, taking my time. It's coming out nice. Just going to do this side a little bit. All right. And I think that's looking pretty good. Let's do the test. Pulling it. Okay. She's good. We're going to go here. We're going to clip it. Clip it and snip it. All right. So we got that part done. So now let's make our drop. So we have an eye pin here. Where are my pliers? And we're going to take our eye pin and we're just going to go ahead and open this eye pin up. Okay. We're going to put our pine cone drop on here. I'm open a little bit more. That pine cone has a thick, she's a, she's a, a little thick, tasty treat to the show. She needs a little bit of extra there we go. Again, I'm not shaming anybody. I'm just saying she's large and in charge. So we just got to, you know, take that into account. All right. So we're going to go ahead and I chose to space this out. Now I will show you. So I chose to space it out here with two seed beads. And you can see that's where that drop is on the Christmas earrings. However, I made these exactly the same, um, except I only did I only did uh, one drop there at the top. What is going on with you, my friend? Okay. I only did one drop, and there's a lot more space from the cone to the... So it's really your preference. You can do one seed bead in your drop, or you can do two. And that will just make your uh, drop a little bit. I kind of like this one better, with a little bit more space. But I've already I've already committed to two of them, so that's what we're going to do. Um... Oh, look, I'm missing a bead. Okay, hold on one second. Here we are. It's like magic. Okay, so I'm going to call this show Beating with be, Unhinged Beating with Call 101. Okay, that's the new name of my program. So we're going to put our, uh, our drop on there, our drop. Call, get it together, our crystal, and then we're going to encase him with another seed bead. So he's locked in there. He's got some friends. And then we're just going to go ahead and make a simple loop. Again, this charm is sided all the way around. So that's perfect because then it means you don't have to finagle with, is this the right side? They're all the right side, my friend. They're all the right side. Okay. So we're just going to go ahead, bend, chomp, 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 chomp. I'm going to make that into a song, I think. I'm going to go ahead and cut. Perfect. And we're going to roll. Roll, roll, roll. All right. Here we go. Oops, don't do that. Okay, kind of roll. It's kind of a, a, a funky looking, a funky looking roll. So we're going to go ahead and just break the neck on that funky chicken. All right, there you go. And that's what you should have. There she is. All right. So now comes the fun part. This is the easy squeezy part. All right. Oh, look, I'm going to get to use my thing too. Hold on. I have to give myself some instant gratification real quick. Ready? Oh, I picked up the jump ring. This is, uh, this is why y'all come to me because I'm silly, right? We do projects. Listen, we do nice projects, but we also get silly. Because that's how I like to roll. Because life is way too short, my friends. To not live it. Oh, sorry. To not live it with at least five smiles on your face a day. All right. At least five. Listen, I'm going to challenge you. I'm going to challenge you to have more smiles. But I want at least five. I, I believe in you. I believe that you can give me five smiles a day. All right. So we are going to take. We need two pliers for this one. This is a two plier job. 
So we're going to take this one, and I'm actually going to use a different pliers because I'm crazy that way. And because this is a bigger jump ring, I like to use these little sturdier pliers. Okay. So here comes the easy squeezy part. We're going to go ahead and we're going to open that. We're going to put one end of this in here, and then we're going to put our drop on. And see how, like, none of this matters, that it's in th that direction? Who cares? Then we're going to, you do want to make sure you're putting, you don't want to, like, have this twisted up in a way. You wanted to make sure that when you're putting this part on, you're just draping it up naturally. And that's, so it hangs really nice. And then we're just going to throw our ear wire on. You don't even got to open it up or anything. Does it matter what side it goes on? Not really. Not really. So there you go. Now we're gonna close this up. Now these bigger jump rings are a little bit more finicky to close. They kinda of don't wanna stay in their seam. So you just gotta work with that. And that looks pretty good. And again, my, I'm just gonna tap it up there. Perfect, you can't even feel that seam now. <clears throat> I can't even feel that seam. All right, my friends, and there she is. Oh my goodness, why are you so pretty? You look a little awkward right there. Okay, I swear it's really pretty. And you don't have to use this big giant air, uh, hoop uh, jump ring. You can use this one. I used a little bit smaller. Guys, they gave us like all, all kinds of jump rings in there. So you can use the bigger, smaller jump ring. The bigger jump ring will make your earring a little bit bigger, obviously. But there they are. I like to put them in my hand. I like to show you all the magic. So I hope you enjoyed these earrings, my friends. I hope uh, that if you're seeing me for the first time, I hope you enjoyed our time together and I hope to see you again real soon. All right, my friends. So yeah, go out there, plant those magical beans, watch how tall those stalks can grow and eat the cake too, because why not? It's Monday. Have a great one. Bye. Friends, I just want to, I'm going to add this into the video. Um, now I know why I ran out of beads, because I put one too many extra on this earring. I'm realizing that now as I'm staging these earrings for pictures. Don't do that. Yeah, I know y'all were yelling at me too. I could hear you. I, well, I couldn't hear you at the time, but as I was staging this, I was like, I know they were yelling at me. This, this bead was supposed to be in here. So I put six beads on here. This is only supposed to be five. So that's my quick edit. Okay, friends. Again. You know, just a fun, casual hanging out. Okay. Love you. Bye.